Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 1st of December. And hey, 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 look at this Heil PR40, greatest mic on the planet. Thanks to uh, Rick and Bubba for their special gift. Oh, this is nice. But hey, we're not here to talk about mics. We're here to talk about weather. Let's get right to it. A lot to talk about. First off, the uh, sky cam shots this afternoon. That's coming from Mount Chihaw. Just south of Anniston, the sky has become mostly cloudy this afternoon after a sunny start earlier today. Demopolis looking right down the Tom Bigby River, and by golly, this is Christmas on the River Week. The annual nautical parade down there is Saturday night. Those brightly lighted animated floats going down the river, a spectacular sight with the fireworks, a wonderful, wonderful event. And up this way, that's the Inverness Sky Cam on top of the Wingate Inn. Traffic down below on Highway 280 about uh, 1.30 this afternoon. Well, we got that big storm coming right at us. Everything kind of developing on time. The upper level low is located near Marfa, Texas. You can see convection forming in the Gulf of Mexico and clouds overspreading the deep south. There's the uh, batch of rain. It is raining over far south Alabama, raining at Mobile, Gulf Shores, Monroeville, Evergreen, Chatham. Heavier rain down toward New Orleans, and that rain will slowly work its way northward tonight, overspreading the state. And the surface low seems to be uh, getting its act together in the Gulf about 250 miles southeast of Galveston. And that will be moving northeast up inland, up toward uh, Mobile and ultimately Chattanooga, as you'll see in the modeling here in just a moment. That promises to bring a good wet down to the state. Temperatures today, hey, they're cooler than forecast. Uh, it's been a day where all of the models busted too high. They, they were figuring we'd be above freezing this morning and up around 60 this afternoon. Not happening. Almost 10 degrees, too warm. Uh, temperatures only around 50 at uh, 1 o'clock. And, again, that certainly looks like we're not going to have any severe weather problems. Not that we expected any, but with cool, stable air, just a lot of rain. Here's a watch warning map. Uh, currently with the upper level feature, we've got winter weather advisories out there for parts of the Texas Panhandle, the Texas South Plains, the Permian Basin. And around here, we've got flash flood watches up for a pretty good chunk of southeast Alabama south of a line from Mobile to Montgomery to Roanoke. And up in the Tennessee Valley, that is a wind advisory. Tomorrow's going to be a rather uh, windy day. In terms of the uh, severe weather threat, uh, tonight there is a risk of severe weather on the Gulf Coast. Uh, that includes New Orleans, Biloxi, Gulfport, Mobile, Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Panama City, about as far inland as Monroeville and Evergreen. But again, we do not expect any severe weather up here. The air is cool and stable. Tomorrow, the risk has been expanded farther north a little bit. Uh, it now runs uh, along a line from near Pensacola to Anniston and points east. And that includes a pretty good chunk of Georgia, the eastern part of the Carolinas, and a large part of Florida. But notice the probabilities. The really main severe weather threat will be for places like Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Valdosta, Tampa Bay, Orlando, Daytona Beach, Charleston, Savannah, Wilmington. And there could be a few isolated tornadoes over there tomorrow. So it's going to be a very active day. But again, around here, the air will just be cool and stable. Let's look at the QPF chart. This is the expected rain for the next five days. The bullseye, 7.7 .7 inches at Pensacola. This is valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, the farther north you go, the amounts taper off. For the Birmingham Metro Interstate 2059, we're looking at about uh, 1 to 2 inches with the amounts lighter up around the shoals. And we do not believe we'll see enough rain for any flooding problems tomorrow or late tonight. Let's break it down and talk about it. Of course, everybody's buzzing about this Friday night thing, too. Let's see what we've got here. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. The altitude here is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Strong short wave coming through Louisiana. Down below that, the GFS has the surface low near Chattanooga. Very good consistency, and you can see the stronger storms tomorrow morning, or I'm sorry, midday tomorrow running from uh, around uh, Panama City up to Macon, Georgia. And we'll see some wraparound rain, but it sure looks like our heaviest rain here could very well be from about 9 o'clock tonight until maybe 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. 
And we thought we'd peek at the instability here. This is coming off the uh, WSI RPM model, Rapid Precision Mesoscale. This is the one we show on television. And uh, you can clearly see the higher capes. And then this is tonight, uh, valid at 11 o'clock or just offshore. And that better instability will be moving up into Georgia and the Carolinas. But uh, for us, it's just going to stay south of us. So, again, uh, heavier rain tonight into tomorrow morning. Go to Thursday. A dry day. Now, again, the uh, thickness values here are not as low as they have been. Uh, I don't think we get out of the 40s. The GFS seems to be a little too warm. Keep in mind, it was 10 degrees too warm today. So more than likely, it's going to be an error on Thursday as well. We're thinking highs in the mid-40s with a chilly north wind. And then Friday, here comes that uh, lobe you can see rotating down through Texas. This run not as strong with the lobe. And down at the surface, you can see the uh, snow developing over parts of south Texas. This would all be south of Dallas-Fort Worth. We're talking San Antonio and College Station and Austin and Houston would have a chance at snow with this feature. And during the day, we stay dry. We'll go to Friday night. Uh, the zero-degree line at 850 is just north of here and the deeper moisture way down south. So this is suggesting nothing more than flurries. Now, again, I think the thermal values are not good here. I think it's going to be colder than that, but the deeper moisture way down south. And, you know, in our public forecast, we have a chance of flurries Friday night. I see no reason to change that here. And we'll look at the uh, Canadian model. Uh, this is valid Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and boy, it's very dry here. It's got the uh, moisture way, way, way down south. So the Canadian suggesting uh, really nothing here. And the NAM, not quite there. The, uh, uh, the, the This goes out 84 hours. This is valid uh, Saturday evening or uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and you can see what should be snow developing over Louisiana and Texas. The NAM, I'll tell you right now, more than likely is going to be a little more aggressive with this, but again, uh, there's no need to get excited. All we're going to do is mention flurries. We don't see any evidence to go anything beyond that for now. We've got to get the thing out of the way tomorrow before we can really focus on that. And there's a look at Saturday. The whole thing is gone. That'll be a cold and dry day. There's the uh, GFS accumulated snow chart, the one everybody likes to see. And uh, you can see it is trying to suggest maybe a little bit through parts of central Alabama, but not much. And that's based on that 12Z run. And then Sunday will be a dry day. We start to moderate Monday of next week. Here comes the next chance of rain with the next stream and this very active flow. Uh, a couple of days later, middle of next week, uh, that's a better-looking uh, trough coming at us, and that looks awfully wet, if this is correct. And out there toward mid-month, this is the 15th of December, very cold-looking pattern for the east. And that looks dry, and, of course, trying to be specific far in advance with this kind of active pattern that's just not going to happen. We're just looking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.